It's supposed to be one of the safest places for a child when they're not at home, but something that's happening at school could be keeping your child from making it to class. It's the everyday hustle and bustle. Pencils, books, backpacks, and harassment? They just flirt a lot. Normal for middle school children. Some call it teasing, but when does it go too far? They say that, like, we're too big in some areas or too small, and so, yeah, it's very hurtful. Harassment is nothing new, but these days, social media has allowed for a 24 7 nonstop cycle of sexual and gender bullying. Ironically, it's more believable when it is on Facebook or Twitter or whatever. There is an element to if you're on the air, it's more credible. A recent survey by the American Association of University Women found that nearly half of middle and high school students experience some sort of sexual harassment. We have a tendency to say, oh, well, just tell them to stop it. The problem with harassment is they won't stop. There are no words that I could tell a child that is really going to help. They need to learn how to get themselves out of there. But it's hard for adults to help if they don't know about it. The study found that only 9% of students reported it to an adult at school and only 20% told a parent. I think a big part of it is no one's going to believe them and fear that they're going to be seen as an outcast. So when kids don't speak up, parents need to look out. Experts say there are some telltale signs of trouble. Children who are harassed often don't want to go to school. They'll come up with excuses like feeling sick. There's also a noticeable change in behavior like depression or anger. Maybe they're even lashing out at their siblings. But the most obvious sign? A drop in grades. So what's the solution? Well, it really comes down to the victim. Experts say you have to empower them so that they can get out of the situation. Speak out. Get your word out. If something's happening, you need to talk about it because it can just get worse. If sparing somebody's feelings isn't good enough reason, think about this. Sexually harassing another student in school is a crime. It's illegal under federal law. I'm Sita Kaloki for 7 Action News.